Hey guys, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to show you this original design I made myself. And this is called... Whoa, this is... Uh, I kind of messed up on my first one. But this is my first one, and this is called the Chinese Lantern, just because it's shaped as a box, and it really reminded me of paper of a paper Chinese lantern, but then there was already one called paper lantern, so I decided to call it Chinese lantern. And as you can see, I kind of messed up here because it is kind of my first brace, uh, first Chinese lantern. But I decided to show you how I f miserably, miserably failed at my bracelet. But that's where I failed, kind of. But this is what it looks like. It's a s really box. It's like a actual lanyard like even the top kind of looks like a, like those stitched lanyards like you those plastic lanyards that you stitch together so yeah let's just get started so you do not have to have a rainbow loom you can just do it on these four pegs on, on these four pegs and pull it to the side but it is kind of hard because the bracelet is really thick, kind of, but you can still pull it up to the side. This morning, actually, this bracelet is really time consuming. It, it, it was kind of time consuming for me to do this, or it's just because I got a bit distracted of something else. But it's it kind of consume, time consuming, but it's really pretty. And I used green and um, purple, uh, glitter bands, and, yeah, so, if, but, if you don't have adjustable loom, you can use those four pegs, but I like to take out the middle and use these four pegs, because it's very easy for me, and, yeah, let's just get started, so I have my loom, obviously, I have assorted bands, I'm just going to be using yellow glitter, and green glitter. So my green's gonna be in the outside and my yellow's gonna be in the inside. So this is the inside and this is the outside. You need a hook and a clip. Check it for my I would want a C clip because this is a thick bracelet. You want a C clip, or you can use an S clip, but I prefer a C clip. Where's my hook up? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, you want to make your my outside is green. So you wanna. Oh my outs! I'm so sorry. My outside is gonna be yellow, and my inside is gonna be green. So I'm gonna make one figure eight. So this sorry, this is hard to see. One figure eight from here to here. And push down. And another one right here. So it looks like this. So then I would take the green. And stretch it across like so. But I'm going to take my hook. And pull it. Take the top one. Pull it and twist it. Twist it. So just make it into something like this. Take this, pull it, and then twist it around. So now it looks like a square. Push down. It doesn't matter how you make the square, just as long as as long as it looks like this. So now let's start layering our more bands on. So I'm gonna push down, and I'm gonna put two, one yellow, and another yellow. And then now you wanna ow, hook over the bottom bands. So you grab this one, the very bottom one, hook up and over, bottom one up and over. Sorry if it's hard to see. This one up and over, and this one up and over. Since we did our cross bands, now we're gonna do our middle, um, the inside color. The inside color is always one band, and the outside is always two bands. So the inside is going to be green, so it's just the box around all four squares, uh, all four pegs, 
and then make sure you know how to do the inverted stitch inverted fishtail because every time you add a square or your inside color you would do it inverted fishtail please focus it's not okay so you grab the second one pull back and grab the bottom one and then do an inverted fish tail stitch on all four pegs. This is why it's time consuming because you it's harder to do the inverted fish tail. And then just do inverted fish tail for all four pegs. And then now you want to push down. And since last time we added the whole whole box. We are now going to put this the outside. So the outside, you put one band and the in one band. So you make an X. But when you put the outside bands, you bands you just want to do a regular fishtail stitch and grab the very bottom ones and up and over, up and over, and up and over. Push down, and your next. So your box, which is one band, and inverted stitch on all four pegs. Okay. Uh. And this is very time consuming for, it takes a couple of tries till it comes out as, as a bracelet because it's time consuming so now you want to push down then next you want to do your outside layer so X make that X and just hook over the bottom bands like so yeah. and then push down and then your box color Oh, your inside bands, I'm sorry. And then inverted fishtail. Sorry if you can see the bracelet in the background. Okay. Okay, this is where it gets a bit weird. I don't know. Okay, this is very confusing. Okay. Sorry if I'm out of camera. Okay, now I'll push down. And I'm going to show you one more time. So for the outside colors, you place two bands into a X. And you just hook over the bottom bands, just the bottom ones, in a regular fishtail. Push down. And then for the inside bands you place a square and then you do an inverted fishtail stitch on all four pegs inverted fishtail stitch if that would let me in sorry if I go off camera and you can see that it makes it starts to form your lantern. It's kind of hard to see. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to end this bracelet now. And I'm gonna show you right here. So this is where I almost finished. Oh, it's not finished yet. But you're just gonna pull the bottom ones up and over. It up and over and over. Don't add any bands. Sorry about the noise. And then you just pull up and over. And now you just want every single band to be on one peg. So just grab these on one single peg. Okay. Grab this one and this peg. Okay. So now you can place your C clip. Ooh, one got loose. Now you want to place your C clip on 
here. It's kind of hard to see because. Okay. Okay, is it through all of it? Yep. Probably is. Yep, it is. Okay. So now this is what it looks like. It kind of got messed up because I got distracted. But it. This is what the Chinese lantern should look like. And you can have it in different colors, like the rainbow or many different colors. And then, of course, you just attach it to this. But obviously, mine is too short. So, yeah. And I make sure to watch my other videos. Um, subscribe, like, and comment. And... Also, my Instagram and Twitter will be down below. So, thanks for watching. Bye!